Alright, welcome back. This is going to be Chapter 3 of Eternal Darkness, my spooky October game. A small shrine of candles. Their placement appears to be very deliberate, corresponding to the etchings on the table and the illustration of the wall. Some of the candles have been lit. Now look, he got that directly out of that, like, her grandpa is seriously crazy, because he got that out of that temple. That picture on the wall is like 900 years old or something. And it's a morning picture, and so, whoops, I didn't mean to do that one. And so there's like a puzzle in here. Oh, and look. By the way, the more chapters you go through in this game, the more demons enter the actual house in real time. The correct sequence of candles being lit, a hidden panel opens. There's a message tube inside. By the way, I hope you all are enjoying the spooky, spooky Halloween horror game. An antique leather-bound message tube, the kind used to transport sealed message scrolls. It appears to be unopened. There might be something inside. Yes, open it. Alex has found a chapter page entitled Suspicions of Conspiracy. Cutscene here. So that's the blue god. You can tell. That's the god that I'll be fighting, the demon. My presence is long missed, my liege. The universe is a yawning chasm. Filled with emptiness and the puerile meanderings of sentience. Why should you deserve special consideration in Interdustus above all else? I am most certain, my lord. As always, that and nothing more. Yes, that and nothing more. What revelations do you bring me? My meditations reveal a flaw in our plan. Our plan, Augustus? Uh -oh. Mantarok is a shadow webbing in the light of our glory. It and the others are slow, weak, bound by the realm of the universe. So earlier he picked the blue when we were using him. We picked the blue relic, and that's why the blue one is the strongest god. Beyond your understanding. The binding of Mantarok will seal their fate as its power over us is diminished. Such an irony that the keeper itself be imprisoned within the walls of its own magic. But what of its essence? Is that not the core of its remaining power? Upon my seeping into the corporeal world, I will be the dominant over all, Mantarok included. Your worries are Even though that's not actually true if you play the whole game. Play the whole game, you have to play through the game three times, though. They just mentioned Charlemagne. Charlemagne has a big part um, in this game, and we'll play as Charlemagne at some point. He will be dead before the week is out. After the chapter page is moved, the message tube is no longer needed. Alex discards it. Alright, so one to chapter three here. Still have the Gladius, the Tome of Eternal Darkness, the Broken Second Key Floor, the Dresser Key. If you don't know where that Dresser Key goes yet. So let's read Suspicions of Conspiracy. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind a mere a puppetry, puppetry of the hands of the ancients. Whenever, Whenever a king, a king vows, vows reform, reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under, Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Like, you know these people are messed up. Look at this. These monks, or whatever they are. Honk, honk, at Domino. Imperatorum Nostrum, Calalum Magnum Francum, deliver this to our Lord and Emperor Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. Words be his eyes only, at once. These, uh, that's a really bad painting, backup painting there, or the back, backdrop. Um, this is some of the scariest stuff in the game, or the f scenes in France. Yeah, I'm supposed to look at it. Now there's some kind of spell inside of you. What sorcery is this? Spell? I am bewitched. You sure are. What will become of him? I have to warn him of this treachery. Got the creepy uh, Gregorian chant background. Is the message scroll right now. Talk. 
After Anthony briefly describes his mission, the monk informs him that Charlemagne was last seen in audience with the bishop in the visiting chamber. Anthony's presence is questioned by the monks, feeling he has trespassed upon sacred ground. The monks seem rather subdued, perhaps out of respect or out of fear. So if you hurt a, a human person, um, that helps your sanity go down as well. Which is why my sanity went down earlier in the second chapter. Visibly disturbed with grief and despair, the monk sobs pitifully. He recounts that this is not the only death to occur recently and wonders if perhaps the order is being punished for wa wa wavering in faith. The monk cordially greets Anthony. However, he brings grave news of the loss of one of his order who fell from the tower to his death. His tone is guarded, leaving Anthony wondering if indeed this is a truth. Funeral casket made from unfinished wood is not properly sealed and could probably be opened. Let's not open that casket yet. There's another one over here. Monks informs Anthony that the, that the order is awaiting the arrival of the bishop so that the funeral rites may begin. There's much grieving to do since this is not the only recent death. Okay, so this back here is nothing. There's a door here on the side. I don't know if I can go through it, though. Mm, can't go that way. Go this way. Yeah, there are a couple doors there. Let me see if there's anything on the balcony first. Since it's in the same room. This, uh, this chapter starts off pretty, like, boringly. So something clearly happened here. Pius Augustus, half a body. Elia. So this weird chamber has Pius Augustus and Elia. Screaming brown. Look at that. Cradled in what appears to be a leathery hand lies a mysterious book. It is bound in human skin and intricately, intricately decorated with shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. Should Anthony claim the tomb of eternal darkness? For sure. So now everything's going to be crazy. Well, not everything, but stuff will be start becoming crazy. This monk is hard at work and does not want to be disturbed. Okay, but what is on that desk? It's that glowing thing. I want to examine, not talk. Examine. Can I get an examine here? Almost. Uh, come on. like a very specific place. There we go. And he reaches out from the dining, but the monk says it is a venerable artifact required for his research and should not be touched. So I gotta come back when he's not here. Alright. What's over here? A blue urn rests upon the shelf. Alright, well that blue urn is good. This urn has been gla glazed with a rich cobalt shellac, instilling with an otherworldly spectral character as a strange sigil on its side. Yeah, so that sigil, or sigil, as I just called it, let me save real quick. I don't have any spells yet, I know. Um, that's just saying that it's the blue sigil, which is the um, magic sigil. So, alright. Let's see what's downstairs now. Everything's still normal. Let me go through this door. Muffled voices emanate from inside the bishop's visiting chamber. However, the door is locked, and Anthony will need the bishop's key to enter and gain our audience with Charlemagne. Hmm. Is there another door somewhere over here? No. 
There's got to be something I'm missing over here. Maybe it's on the other side. There's not very many places to go in this. You can't leave the church because you need to talk to Charlemagne. I guess I should open the casket. You know, that's like really bad. Oh my god, what is it? This devil's work. We should get out of it. You have proven what we have feared the most. This poor man has been the victim of great evil. Look how his body has been defiled. As if something has burst out from inside him. Here, take, take this, this for your protection, protection. And, find and find the bishop. The bishop. He, must he must be informed, informed of this horrible, horrible discovery. discovery. Anthony has acquired a scramasax. So now I have a sword. Lots of weird stuff going on there, huh? So stuff got so crazy that they're just like, now you need a sword. All the monks are gone. Let's see if the monks are still upstairs. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, he's succumbing to that evil spell that was meant for Charlemagne. You can see it's like trying, it's basically destroying him. All right. Yes. Circle of power. Circles of power describe the amount of power that a spell will have. The more points within that circle, the stronger spell will be. Spells are magical, like magical decay there. Incantations that enhance a character's natural ability. I don't have any spells, though. Let's have a circle of power. So I can't actually research any spells, but I can now make spells if I need to. Inside my Eternal Darkness Tome, which by the way, when you hit start, this is the Eternal Darkness Tome, right? So. Oh, I could have put on 16, on oh, no, a standard instead of 16.9. Oh well, that's better anyway. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Just thought I'd mess with that even though I haven't done anything yet. Alright, now can I get in the stupid door? No. Peering inside the casket, Anthony sees the body of a monk. His raiment is that of his order, stained with blood that seeped from any grievous wounds. It is truly a disturbing sight. Is there something else over here that I'm missing? There must be like a door or something that I'm missing. I thought there was like a downstairs or something to this as well. There's gotta be something hanging out around here. What am I missing? I can't leave. There's nothing else upstairs that I know about. Maybe if I use the While fumbling around, the urn slips from Anthony's stiff fingers, dashing itself into the fragments into the floor. Ah, magical rune. Runes are the key element in creating spells. By collecting combined runes in different ways, different spells can be created. So I have this red rune, which is the health rune. There's red, green, blue, and purple. But that still is not helping me get in here. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there was nothing else up here, right? Did I miss anything? Not there. Not there. Some. Ah. Uh, amongst the tomes and manuscripts, a book brings us up to attention. Oddly pristine on dusty shelf, it doesn't quite belong. Should Anthony remove the book? Yes. This probably opened the passage. Ah, there we go. If this was Zelda, you'd hear the doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo. 
All right, what's down here waiting to kill me? Oh, shoot, it's got a root inside of it. Well, that's important. Ooh, didn't take its head off. Man, that thing is not dying. There we go. Definitely want that room. Yeah. Right, let's get some color. All right, that one's dead. I don't think I can make a spell yet. I think you need three. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. See. So I don't know what this does, but we can mess around with that later when I get a third rune. Yeah. Ooh, I like how he throws the knife at it with the sword. For being a message boy, he doesn't seem like he's that incapable. go. Say, there's dark and it's difficult to make out any tail if you had a light source. I do. The broken greener. Mix. This allows a player to combine two things into one. And they assemble two-thirds of the broken greener. So there must be another part in here somewhere. Let's talk to this guy. Great before his life, the monk tells Anthony what happened. He was carrying a sacred urn from the baptismal font when he was confronted by the bishop who's brandishing a large blade and whose eyes burned with an evil fire. Frightened, the monk dropped the urn out of shock and ran. Returning, returning to retrieve the urn, he found only the sword the bishop had left behind. With thanks, he gives the bishop's sword to Anthony. It's a better sword, I guess. Where's the rest of this urn, though? Green urn. Is that all I would need from you? Monk ambles around nervously. He's half expected to demon bishop to return any moment. All right. Oh, I like the small sword better. Maul's more of a one one-handed sword guy. Let's see what's in here? Probably. Oh yeah, another uh, another. Magro Magormor? What does that say? Magical Codex. Can't tell what the bottom thing says. Runes cannot be understood without a codex. Without a codex, runes in your possession will remain a mystery. So I have the codex for that, but I don't know what it means. No, I'm gonna get hit right there. Kill it! There we go. There's the same room. Finish. Yes. Get my sanity back. So he has m way more sanity than uh, Elliot did. All right, so now let's look at it. Runes. It's an item. So can I make a... Hey, spell one. I don't know what it does, though. Hmm. Let's cast it. Oh, it enchants an item. Okay. 
Oh, going through more changes. Ch -ch 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 changes. He's definitely dying. Oh. There we go. Let's finish him. him. And what does this say? Examine. Yes, the Shuriger Codex. That's the one I knew about. A serving rendition of a monstrous devil. It is contorted what appears to be a fountain. What sickly liquid is this draining into the pool, trickling from a scum-encrusted spout? Okay, let's check it. It has been glazed with a deep red shellac, giving the sheen of a bloody heart recently torn from its host's body. It has a strange sigil on its side and is filled with a foul-smelling liquid. All right, we gotta burn this, I'm sure. Ah. Creepy hallway here. Yeah! Screw you, tall skeleton guy. In the hallway. Oh! The bishop didn't hear him. What an evil bishop. Iron plate in the floor is carved with three curious circles. Dried splashes of Marta's pocked, marked, and worn surface. Well, let's take some stuff first. Another magical codex. Okay, so now I should be able to know what this spell does, right? Did I not just find all of them? Chaturga. Project onto an item. Okay, well that's fine. Amongst the books on the table rests an ancient scroll of what appears to be paper. Enchant item. This allows the player to cast spells that have been found or researched. Uh, so that's the enchant item spell. Torn scroll illustrated with a geometric symbol is accompanied by a small note. The note reads, That is which broken shall be fixed. That is which dull shall be sharp. Thus is the nature of enchant item magic. The spell requires Anterbach and Magormor. Magormor runes. So what I can do... Yes, I know, I know. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now let's cast the spell. Um, spell list, enchant item cast, and we'll cast it on the broken green. And we'll do the same thing again. with the blue. Anterbach, Magermore, Chaturga. Now we gotta go back and get some of that scummy water and put in those other two urns so that we can solve that puzzle in there. Dunking there into the foul-smelling fountain, it becomes filled with the room with rank fluid. It's a lot heavier now and rife with fater? Tell Anthony's uh, worse for wear after getting all these spells casted on him. Although the urn appears to sit correctly in place, it does not be heavy enough to depress it.
All right. This can't be good, right? Oh, look, it's the bishop. So, you have come to return my book. <laughs> Very well, then. For your efforts, I promise a quick and merciful death. Oh, good. I was worried. killed me. It's not fun. Oh god, gotta get away from that. Did I kill him? How's he not dead? Trying to a guy that bespeaks of an ancient evil that graced the earth before me and walked its valleys. Enchant that item. Spell list, enchant item. Oh, I don't have any magic. That guy's legit like going insane right now. Oh, finally. Jeez. I finally got the key. Just took a lot of hits. A lot of hits. I'll probably have to fight a billion enemies on the way back, too. I don't know why I came back to life. That was cool, though. Yeah, Anthony, you're almost dead. I understand, dude. So I don't like some of these, uh... camera angles in this game, but that's just kind of how horror games were back then. Get some of my sanity back there. Later you can get a uh, spell that heals your sanity, which is really one of the best spells in the game, but right now I just don't have that spell. Yes, I want to finish him. I don't want to look at the urns. No. Finish. There we go. Woo! All right, let's go in back here into the other room. Oh, back to the present. My dear Alice, I will always be at your side. There are times when insanity takes hold. Nothing seems right. During those times, I will help you. Fear not, for I will keep you dark as a way.
crap. The trapper dimension sprawls in every direction. Whilst in this place, magic cannot be cast, humans are subjected to odd phenomena. For a cycle from color to color as time progresses, and only a quick will escape. I'm trying to get to one. It's over here. Oh, that's cool. I really did need that. So those little scorpions send you to a different dimension. That's nice. Trappers have no eyes, can, but can sense sound very well. If anything can sneak past them, they won't be trouble. Freaking combat here. Just gotta finish him. Alright, he's dead. One more. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh boy. Let's climb up these steps. Back into the. Well, the bishop, fortunately, is dead. I've killed the bishop. Oh, he's having real bad times. <laughs> he's got this, like, zombie-like gait. Back into the church. Save. I probably can't save. Stand there. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is very bad. the crap. I've never actually played the magic path before. This is new to me. Oh. If I die...
I guess I just have this power and you can't die this early in the game. I'm not sure. He's definitely sapping all of my uh, magic, though. How can he hit me through the, the thing? That's weird. Oh boy. That's pretty nerve wracking. So you can hear like the heartbeat because I'm almost dead in the controller is like vibrating and there's definitely more stuff down here. Yeah, he definitely cannot die. Which is pretty nice. Another thing I like about this game is like when cutscenes happen, it doesn't matter. Like if you're like in the middle of a cutscene, the enemies do not stop. They don't stop for anything. I wish the hit detection were a little bit better, but I mean it's a really good game. It's a good story. Alright, let's finally use this key. And this is gonna end the chapter of this part of the story. of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Ulyan. Ooh. Nice. Power of Ulyath. Yep, many centuries ago in Persia, that guy grabbed the uh, blue, the blue sigil, and that's what did it. So now I can, now that I have the Tomb of Eternal Darkness, I can actually use that spell on the key. So now I have that key. So now I have the second floor key and the dresser key. And that's equipped. I'm gonna go ahead and save really quickly. Is this the end? Yes. Um, this is the end of chapter three, so if you're watching live, I'm getting ready to start chapter four. If you are um, watching this on demand on YouTube, thanks for, uh, for watching, and there should be a video link and a subscription link. Um, remember to subscribe and like, and if you are enjoying this series, um, make sure you click the little bell for notifications so you can keep getting updates about when you, I update the series, basically. So.